to make this necklace that you see here, which is similar to one I've done before, but we're actually using a different type of material to make this. But to make this cute little necklace, again, you can make it smaller and make it a bracelet if you want. You would just have to adjust the strings, which we'll talk about when we get to making it. So to make this cute little design, again, I love how the beads look on it. And we're going to show you that too. So what I did is I found some beads on Amazon. They're really kind of cool looking and they have what I like, especially for using with yarn that you really want to find ones that have a, a huge opening to make it easier to thread any kind of material through. But these were around $9 I believe and that included the shipping with uh, getting about 500 beads. I'll have a link down below to the specific beads that I bought for this. Um, hopefully they'll still be in stock. But again, you're going to look for some sort of beads that you like that basically have a big enough hole again that will allow you to thread your string or yarn or whatever you're using through. So that's what we have over here. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need your spool loom. Now what I didn't realize and some loom or shared is that it could come apart. I've never taken this thing apart before. So what I realized that I'm going to be using the smaller side, we're just going to take it apart. Now if you don't know, it may fall off. Or it may not when you put it back together, but again, we're going to use the smaller side. So again, this is off the spool loom. When you have a bigger side and a smaller side, you want, excuse me, you want the smaller side that has one, two, three, four, five pegs. We're only going to be using three of these pegs. The next thing you're going to need is what you're going to use as your yarn. And what I actually did is I picked up this, again from Amazon. It's a microfiber suede, kind of like a fake leather suede. And it actually has, where does it say it here? length is 100 yards and its material is a microfiber and 100 yards you figure every yard is three feet so it gives you an idea you're getting 300 feet basically out of one spool this at the time I purchased it was probably around almost $15 again the price may change but again I'll have a link to that down below so you know exactly which one I bought and they had a lot of different colors I do just to show have a navy one I just choosing to use this one because I think it shows up on camera a little better but I did pick up like this navy one which I'm, I'm not sure if you can tell how blue it is it kind of looks a little black to me when I look through the screen but I like the feel of it I like that it's not too thick compared to yarn but it is durable like you can give it a little tug it's pretty durable and they have lots of different colors I noticed some bright colors which would be really fun for like kids and stuff like that so again we're going to use this one now what I've talked about before when we use beads is I prefer to put the beads on before you actually start the project and I counted the necklace to make sure because this was my little sample and I'm going to need 36 beads in order to make it about the same length you see here However, if you want this part to be more, you're obviously going to need to add more beads. So a heads up is that we're going to be using three beads per row that we do when we get to the part of where, where we do the beads. So to give you a heads up. So what you would want to do is whatever, excuse me, you're going to take three and times it by however many rows you think you want. So again, if you're going to want this to be bigger, you're going to need to add more beads. But to do it about the size I have here, we're just going to need to put 36 beads on. And of course that process is very, very, very simple. First thing you want to do is obviously find the beginning and you're just going to go ahead and put your 36 beads on. Again, this is what I'd like just to show you that, like I said, the hole is big enough that easily this does through. Because I don't know if it actually says on here, which it doesn't. It doesn't say on here how thick this was. So when I share the link, you'll be able to tell how thick this part is to get an idea for that. But again, you're going to put on your beads just one at a time. And just keep in mind these beads, the one thing I did notice is that they do tend to stick sometimes. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and add your 36 beads on and then we'll move on to the next part. Once you have your 36 beads on your little leather microfiber strap. They actually look kind of pretty even without doing anything. So even if you don't want to do the product, you could even bead them on the leather and tie them behind your back and they'd be really cute as well. So once you get to 36, go ahead and close off your beads so they don't go falling all over. You're going to grab your one part of the spool loom and grab your looming tool and keep in mind you will need scissors as well. So go ahead and make sure you have some scissors available for at the end. You won't really need a crochet hook to do this. So again, you got your looming tool, you got your little spool, and we got our beads on here. Now what you have to think about is how long, I'm going to show you on this one again, you want for your ability to tie it behind your neck. 
So I'm always going to say do more than what you think because you can always trim these on the side down to what you want, but it's going to be hard to add more. So again, give yourself a good at least like probably 12 inches to work with, and then you can adjust how much you actually need, but it gives you a chance to tighten this. You can choose this to lay down a little further on your chest, or you can tighten it to make it be almost like a little bit of like a choker style. So that's what I like about the versatility. Again, you can add more beads on than we did if you want this part with the beads to be longer. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I do pretty long piece of wire, or excuse me, of the microfiber, I don't know what to call it, like I call it strips of microfiber, I guess. It's kind of my version of a yarn. And you're going to want to make sure that you leave yourself enough of a tail that you can use to tie it behind your neck. So again, I got over a little over 12 inches probably here. Then do your slip, slip knot like normal. And then go ahead and run it down through the loom. And place it on one of the pegs. Now again, we're only going to be using three of these pegs. This is similar to what I did before when I had a video up of the loom knit bracelet. I wanted to show it being done using more colorful beads and with a different type of yarn type fabric. This is not yarn. Again, this is a microfiber suede leather so kind of strip. So it's got definitely a different feel against your skin. And I think it's just kind of a cool alternative to yarn. So once you put it on your one peg, I want you to look at it. And we're going to use three pegs. We're going to use as a triangle shape. So when you cast on, you're going to go up to this peg, and then around to this one, and then back. Oh, excuse me. Let's do that again. Yeah, that's what I want. Wrap that one. Wrap that one. Come back and wrap that one. Okay. And then you're going to, excuse me, go back up, wrap that one, come back around and wrap that one. And now you'll be able to cast on. So I'm going to come in here so you can see. Now again, you're just going to do the same thing you normally would do with yarn. Just be careful because this does sometimes want to pop off. But we're just going to simply knit it over. Okay, and this kind of counts as one row here as we're knitting it over. Okay, we're going to do one more of those before we start adding beads on. So again, you're going to take your yarn or your fake yarn here and wrap it around all three pegs so it looks like that and go ahead and knit over <clears throat> and this is just a very simple project to do it's something even like a kid would probably like doing and you could probably find some really cool beads to do and again you can use yarn as well but this just gives a different texture and a different like vibe than using regular yarn for people that maybe want to have some kind of jewelry and want to use your looming tool as a way to make jewelry. So we did a second row. Now we're ready to drop our pegs. So this is where it's kind of good if you're working on a table like I am because it keeps your beads from falling. You're going to bring up your bead. You're going to drop your bead. Wrap your peg. So you want your bead in between there. Before you go to the next, bring up the next. So in between each peg, we're dropping a bead. Okay, and we're bringing up the next and dropping a bead and then wrapping it around and then in order to lock these in place it should kind of look like this we're going to knit it over and that locks our beads in place and then push it down and then you can also use the string at the bottom to give it a little tug to help it come through so again you do the same thing grab your bead bring it up drop it wrap that peg as you're working your way around, grab the next bead. So you wrap the next peg. Oh, I think I went the wrong way with that one. No, I did the right way. Okay. So drop it. Come up here. Wrap that one. Bring up your last peg from this or bead from this side. Wrap that last peg. And you can kind of go in and adjust them a little bit, which will help to line them up. And then go ahead and knit over. And that's a pretty simple. Like I said, what I loved about doing this the first time with the yarn is how it looked. And I really like the way it looks with the leather. I mean, it looks a lot better in person than probably it's showing up on camera. So again, you're just going to keep gently tugging this to help it come down through. And remember, we did two kind of rows. We did our cast on row and then a regular knit row before we started working our beads. So now you're going to keep this process going until you no longer have bead. When you get your last bead row of beads done, 
Then we'll come back for the last little part. Okay, I'm doing my last row of beads right now. Again, dropping them in, wrapping them around the peg. Dropping it, wrapping it. And again, if you're using different colored cords, like I said, this, there are different colors of the same cord available on Amazon, which could be really cool to mix up your colors. Especially for like teenagers and all that that might like some of the more fun, vi vibrant colors that they have available in this uh, suede. So once you get your last one done, now remember at the beginning we did our cast on and then we did a row. So we want to do two rows at the end of this before we take it off. So we're just going to simply push these down and as you can see it's coming through nicely on the bottom. So we're going to wrap all the way around once, knit it over. Wrap it again. Now you want to move these over so you have everything on one peg. <clears throat> so go ahead and move one over there to this one. Knit it over. Move the one over from here to there. Knit it over. Now you're going to want to cut your string. Remember, you're going to want to have about as much as you left on the first side so you can even them out. So go ahead and match it up as much as you can to the other side. Okay, these scissors I have are not working very well. Okay, so I cut my string. Now what I want to do is take this working yarn and pull it through this loop. So I'm going to go, or excuse me, the working leather suede here. I'm going to move it over, turn it almost like I'm purling, and bring that all the way through. And that's how we're going to bind this one off. And then go ahead and take it off the loom. Give it a little tug. And there you have your simple little bracelet design. Now what you can do too, again, if you want to make sure your cords on each side are matched up, bring them together a little bit and go all the way to find your end. And if you notice that they don't match up, you can go ahead and trim them up. And then again, you're going to just tie it behind your neck for as loose as you want it to hang down. But it's a quick little project you can kind of do. And again, there's, I will have links to this and to the beads down below and you'll be able to see different colors you can do i really like this and stay tuned because i will be doing other either jewelry type things with this suede or i'll be making something else out of it i've got a couple other ideas and again i do have it in navy so i may be making something out of this as well either jewelry related or not i really love these beads so you will most likely see these beads in projects later on as well in jewelry or whatever so that i can use them up so make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you're interested in me making more of these type of videos. And as always, have a great day, everyone.